Welcome to Rejoicing Heart Ministries. We hope everyone is having a great day. This is Robin Donna Litwin here to encourage you with the Word of God. Today we have a teaching about multiplying grace and peace in your life. Our reading is from Peter's second letter, chapter 1, verse 2. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Today's teaching is called Grace and Peace Multiplied. This verse was written by the Apostle Peter to anyone that made Jesus their Lord and Savior. In the previous verse, 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 1, Peter said he was writing this letter to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Peter wanted all Christians to know that to have grace and peace in your life, you must have a greater knowledge of God and Jesus. Peter said that you not only have grace and peace, but you multiply your grace and peace by knowing God and Jesus Christ. When you're a believer and understand this truth, you desire to know God more because you learn all about the awesome things that God has done for you through Jesus. The Gospel of Matthew chapter 5, verse 6 says, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. This verse by the Apostle Matthew supports what Peter wrote because Matthew wrote, that if you seek after righteousness, you will be filled. Seeking after righteousness is seeking God through Jesus Christ. This is the only way you can seek righteousness, because you do not have the ability to do it on your own. Matthew wrote a chapter later that doing this will provide you with all your needs met. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Here, you see that you can seek God and His righteousness, and He will provide what you need. This provision is one example where you find grace and peace through the knowledge of Jesus Christ. The more you know Jesus, the more you have peace, because Isaiah wrote in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Knowing this, that Jesus is the Prince of Peace, seeking Him should be a priority for you in your life. When you have Jesus, you have peace. But without him, you will not have peace. The Apostle Paul wrote it this way in his letter to the Philippians, chapter 4, verse 7. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Paul confirms that peace comes through keeping your heart and mind on Jesus. You do this by meditating on his word and trusting him in all circumstances, no matter what it looks like in the moment. Now, you know that perfect peace comes through Jesus. But you must know that grace comes through Jesus too. Matthew wrote that when you seek Jesus and his righteousness, you will be filled. The Apostle John wrote about the grace you receive by being filled with Jesus. The Gospel of John chapter 1 verse 16 says, And of his fullness have all we received, and grace for grace. John said, You have received grace for grace through the fullness of Jesus. The Amplified Bible makes this easier to understand. John chapter 1 verse 16 in the Amplified Bible says, For out of his fullness, abundance, we have all received, all had a share, and we were all supplied with one grace after another, and spiritual blessing upon spiritual blessing, and even favor upon favor, and gift heaped upon gift. This verse tells you about the awesome grace that you receive through Jesus, which includes blessings upon blessings, and favor upon favor. The Apostle Paul spoke of the blessings you have through Jesus in his letter to the Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 3, which says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Paul said that through Jesus you have received all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. This is an amazing statement because you receive all of this right here, right now. That means anything you know is in heaven, you have right here, right now. This is a great reason to have perfect peace, knowing that you have this grace of heavenly blessings over you, right now, in your life. Now, knowing all this, you should have an even stronger desire to learn more about God. Here is the place you can start learning about God. John's first letter, chapter 4, verse 8 says that God is love. Knowing first, and foremost, that God is love is where you want to start knowing who He is. That means that everything that God does is from a place of love, which means He can only do good things. This truth 
is written in the letter of James, chapter 1, verse 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. This says that God is good only. When you know this truth about God, you immediately multiply your grace and peace because you know first that God, because He is love, did not and will not cause you to have problems in your life. Plus, you learn that He will take care of you in that situation every time. That is comforting, or the grace and peace that you can only find through Jesus. In closing, we leave you with one last verse that should help you believe for multiplication of your grace and peace, because you are learning about God and know Him better. In Paul's letter to the Galatians, chapter 5, verse 6, it says that faith works by love. This is telling you that faith works by love and God is love, which tells you that your faith works through how much you know God's love. When you know how much God loves you, you can believe for anything and receive it because your knowledge of God automatically multiplies your grace and peace. When you know God's love, you have a peace through your faith knowing that God provides you the grace for every need that arises in your life. Remember, this is dependent on your knowledge of Him. Start today. Seek Jesus to know His love, to see multiplication of grace and peace in every area of your life. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father, thank you for blessing us to know you better. Help us understand you better so we can see multiplication of grace and peace in our lives. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Thank you for listening to Rejoicing Heart today. If this teaching has blessed you, please consider becoming a monthly partner to help us increase the ways we are proclaiming the Word of God. This is easy to do. Just visit our website at rejoicingheart.net. We thank you for your support. We leave you with more encouragement from the Apostle Paul from Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice.